in the 29th, which was in Liverpool. Mm. OK, yeah. and how did the tour go? Did you enjoy it? I was pretty good. How good is it to just hang out with your mates all the time? That's the best thing about it. Totally. Now, I've heard that loads of girls in the audience have been going mad about you and throwing teddies onto the stage and stuff. Everyone. Really? <laughs> but do you keep yours, though? I... Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Is there a little home? And I've got... No, at my house, I've got quite a few teddies in my bedroom. Pure, pure. Oh, pure. Such a, oh, oh, I, I don't mean it like that. I mean from, from fans, and I put them in my bedroom. I'm as fan mail. I don't sleep with them when I feel like I ain't got them in my bed. You're digging a hole there, Kevin. <laughs> now we've had loads of text messages for you guys from uh, people sat watching at home. This first one's from Caroline in West Sussex. She says, "What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you on stage? I want you to nominate one person between the lot of you." <laughs> <laughs> Nothing embarrassing to me, I'm saying, so. Nothing embarrassing? Actually, no, I've one thing, I've one thing. <laughs> <laughs> what was your one thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this was at, like, a club. We was doing, we was doing, like, a club once, yeah, some girls get a bit excited and throw, like, thongs on stage and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> and I must have been, like, I was standing by the front of the stage and someone's throwing a thong up and it's, like, hooked on my ear. <laughs> <laughs> That's, like, walking around stage, it's, like, thong coming up my ear. I think that's what it is. I think it was... Did you just kind of casually knock it off? It off. <laughs> 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 it off. <laughs> this next one here is from Katie in St Andrews, and she says, "Why do you keep slagging off David Sledden?" Because oh. he's a tramp. <laughs> I, do, I just like to emphasize a point. We don't want he to talk started, about it. He started, he started, started on us. Started on us started. And we ended it. <laughs> Originally said was yeah, when we was in some magazine, you're just going, oh, the reason bands like the Beatles ain't around no more is because Blazing Squad. Anyway. Oh, <laughs> like, no, <laughs> but, but we ended it. We've ended it. Okay, so, so he one. said that, and then you retaliated how? In we a magazine. <laughs> and then he retaliated <laughs> back. So Kenzie and Flavor <laughs> to like. We wrote a rap about him. And him you wrote a rap him. about him. Yeah. <laughs> Just to clarify, because I, I didn't I didn't know this either, but how you guys all, all got together, you all, were all at school together, weren't you? Yeah, and there was yeah, two yeah. different crews, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sound so street and kid. <laughs> 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 two different crews. Explain to me exactly what happened. Um, well, we just, like, from about the age of 13, we just got a love for music through Pirate Radio. And we were, like, because we all live in the same area, but five live on one side, five mm. live on the other. Like, ain't, like, eight sons. Eight sons. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, um, we just kind of, like, we, we used to make tapes together, but we thought, because there was like, there's no tens around. We thought we'd mould us one and just see how it went, and it seems to be going quite well. With but it. like the first thing that was your own, <laughs> the first thing that was like your own record label, and you kind of got the impetus together to go and do it yourselves. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah. fair play to you, I have to say, Thank fair you. play. Oh, that's, that's... <laughs> now, just before we leave the topic of David Sten, sorry that bad word. But, um, is the rap suitable for morning entertainment? No. Blood, what you reckon? David Snell! You're about to fill the Armageddon. David Snell! You can't say the rest because it's too bad. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, oh. I have to just say, all the record company people are standing there going. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, you guys. Thank you for doing that. Okay, right, this next one is from Mel in Vauxhall. She says, What's the best thing about being famous? What's the best thing? Do you any of you have any J Lo style demands yet? 
Have you got to that yeah. stage where Every time we go to a dressing room, it has to be painted white. <laughs> <laughs> I can just imagine it. Lilies and candles on the pillow from you lot. It must be fabulous. Okay, this next one's from Vicky from Colchester. She says, lots of my friends are busted fans and they tease me for being into Blazing Squad. Is there any rivalry between you and no, Busted? We're, no. we're, 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 we're tight. tight. We're proper tight. They're good mates. Yeah? No, we get on really well. They're like one of the closest people to us in the industry yeah, as, a, as a band. Right, OK, so they're just doing their thing, you're doing yep. your thing. And we say hello when we meet. <laughs> and I have to say, doing it remarkably successfully. Yeah, well done, you guys. You. Um, thank you very much for joining me this morning. Yeah, thank you. Very much.